Bruzy from Bruzy Vineyard, and I'm here with another online Bruzy Institute to teach you another of my favorite recipes. And today we're going to make chocolate truffles with Arizona honey. Now for the first step, I have my chocolate chips here. And as with our recipe last week, the quality of the chocolate is very important. So uh, here we're using a Belgian milk chocolate. You can also use a dark chocolate, white chocolate, whatever you prefer. I just personally am more partial to milk chocolate, so that's what I'm using today. So I've got two cups of chocolate chips here, and I'm just gonna put them into a heat proof bowl, just like that. And then for my second step, I'm going to take a small saucepan, and I'm going to combine one cup of heavy whipping cream. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of Arizona honey. take our saucepan with our combined ingredients and we're going to put it on medium heat and heat it until it's just short of boiling. Now we're going to stir it while it's heating to uh, melt all the honey together with the cream. So uh, here we only use local honey um, and there's four different honeys here from four different nectar sources. So you can see the four different colors. This one here is a wildflower flagstaff honey. This here is a desert wildflower honey. This one is an orange blossom honey. And this one's a mesquite honey. Now these are all from the mountaintop honey company in Flagstaff and he travels around the state and uh, sources from different nectar sources throughout the year. So for example, when during the orange season, when the orange blossoms are out, they'll be in Mesa in the valley. In the, when the summer bloom is in Flagstaff, they'll be in Flagstaff when mesquite flowers are flowering. So they really come from all different corners of the state. And each one has a little bit different flavor profile, a little bit different taste. And again, much like the chocolate, it's what you like the best. Today, we've used the Flagstaff wildflower honey but really anyone would work and it's fun to experiment with some of the different local honey sources and nectar sources. All right, so now we have our honey and cream mixture all heated up. And again, you definitely don't want it to boil, but you wanna make sure it's nice and hot. The melting point for chocolate is right about body temperature. So anything over that, you're gonna be fine. Um, so we're gonna take this mixture here and we're just gonna dump it over our chocolate chips in the bowl here. We're gonna let that sit for just a minute to start melting the chocolate. Then we're gonna take a whisk and we're just going to whisk it up until the chocolate is fully melted. Just want to double check to make sure there's no chunks or anything and everything's melted and incorporated. And then we're going to take this bowl and we're going to pop it in the refrigerator until it solidifies. All right, so we've had the chocolate mix in the refrigerator for about two hours now and it's totally solidified and that's what we're looking for. Now you've got your chocolate mixer, and then you're going to take another two cups of your chocolate chips, and you're going to melt them in the microwave at 30 second intervals, stirring in between, until it's nice and melted and smooth. Now this you're gonna use for the outer coating on your truffles. So um, you're going to melt it in the microwave, and then you're gonna let it cool until it's still nice and pliable, still you know, a liquid chocolate, 
but not hot because you don't want it to melt the center of your truffles. So after about a minute in the microwave, two 30 second intervals, our chocolate is all melted, no chunks. And we're gonna let this cool. And while this cools, we're going to make our truffle balls. Now to make the chocolate, uh, the truffle base, the um, center of the truffle, you can do two different things. One is you can take a melon baller and use that to make uh, the balls and kind of um, circle them with your hands. Or you can take two spoons like this and just kind of shape and you just want to drop those on a clean plate or surface. And you're just going to repeat that process to whatever size truffle you want. You can do bigger than that. You can do smaller, whatever you like. You're not going perfect for perfection here. You're going for delicious. Now, as a reminder, you want to keep everything cold that you're working with. You want your spoons cold, you want your bowl cold, you want your plate cold, everything cold because the warmer it is, the less time that you're going to have to work with the ganache mixer here. If you find it start to get too soft on you, you can just pop it back in the fridge, give it another 15, 20 minutes, and then come back to work on it. Now that we've made the truffle base, we're gonna pop this back in the fridge for another 15 minutes, just to make sure that it solidifies and is nice and cold before we dip it in the melted chocolate. All right, so we've got our truffle centers all nice and chilled, firmed up, and we're going to take two forks and we're gonna pick them up. They stick a little, it's okay. And we're gonna drop them in the chocolate, the melted chocolate, to get a nice coating on them, just like that. Use the two forks. And then we're just going to drop this on a plate just like that. And we're gonna repeat the process with each one. So we're gonna pick it up. We're going to dunk it in the chocolate. And we're going to place it on the plate. All right, now once you have your chocolate truffles all dipped in the chocolate coating, now uh, one of the things you can do for decoration is you can take your fork, dip it back in the melted chocolate there, and then you can just do a drizzle over them, however you like to decorate. There we go. And now for this particular one, because it's a honey truffle, I want to top it with a little bit of granulated honey. Um, so this was a little bit hard to find. Uh, we had to go to the Asian market in Mesa to find it, but it's basically just honey and sugar mixed together and formed to a nice little granule like that. So we're just going to use this as a garnish. Just take a little pinch and we're just going to Drop it over the top of each one. We're going to want to do it while the chocolate's still a little bit wet, like right now. And now to finish these, we're just going to pop them back into the refrigerator or the freezer for about another 10 to 15 minutes. Just let the shell harden and get everything all firmed up. All right, so our finished truffles have now finished chilling. I actually finished them in the freezer just to make sure that they were super cold. 
and here they are. Now they might stick to your plate a little bit. If they do, just feel free to use a butter knife and pop underneath them. And um, so we're going to give them a try here. So again, we have a milk chocolate Arizona honey truffle. Usually the crispy shell, the honey in the middle, the honey on top. That is some good shit. Thank you all for joining us for another Bruzy Institute Online. We really appreciate you guys joining us. And I wanted to let you guys know, we have extended our wine sale through the end of April. So right now we're offering three bottles for $99 delivered anywhere in Arizona and cases for up to a 40% discount with free shipping. So uh, if you'd like to take advantage of that, go ahead and send us an email at bruzyvineyard at AOL.com or give us a call at 928-462-3314. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you guys again soon.